So I already primed my skin off camera because I didn't have any drugstore ones that I really wanted to use, so I just used my regular Urban Decay one. Anyway, so for foundation, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. My shade is in 105 Classic Ivory. Ugh, all over my hand. Then to buff all of that in, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender, but there is also the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge that is very similar to the Beauty Blender and does the exact same job, and it's only like five bucks, but mine's brand new and I don't feel like using it quite yet, so just using the Beauty Blender. Then for concealer, first I'm going to use the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. This is in the shade 230 Fair Light which is not very light, it's pretty much the same color as my skin tone. And that's just gonna go over blemishes or where I feel I need any extra coverage today. Then again, I'm just going to use the flat end of my Beauty Blender to buff all of that out. Then under my eyes and to highlight with, I'm going to use my Rimmel Wake Me Up in 125, very fair. So just under the eye, highlighting, and then I'm going to put on my brow bone, here on my chin, a little bit of reverse contouring, bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow. Center of the forehead. Then I'm just going to use the opposite end of my beauty blender, so the pointed end, to blend all of that out. Then to set under my eyes, I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder because it is a translucent powder, so it doesn't have any more color and it'll just keep those areas really highlighted. So then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This you can get at Walmart, and it is super duper inexpensive. And with that, I'm just going to really set the center of my face. Then because I don't really have a bronzer from the drugstore that I feel like looks natural to bronze up my entire face with, I am going to use my Sephora Sol de Rio bronzer still because it just looks nice. And it is on the lower end of the spectrum for high end. It was only about $20, I want to say. So I'm just going to bronze up my face with that a little bit. Then because I do use two bronzers to warm up my skin, one that's a little bit more neutral and one that's a little bit more warm toned, I am going to go in with the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny and just use that very lightly as my second bronzer to warm up my skin a little bit more. So just applying it in the same way that I would the other one. And for blush today, I'm going to be using this one from Wet n Wild. It is called Heather Silk. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques blush brush to apply. You don't need a ton of this. You can go overboard with this product very easily. So just be careful. So then for my highlight, I'm going to use this baked blush from the brand Hard Candy. This is available at Walmart. This is the shade 127 Honeymoon. And it's a very pinky kind of highlighty color. So first, for my eyebrows, I did fill them in with the Jordana Fabu Brow in Taupe. These are available at Walgreens for like a couple bucks. They are next to the cosmetic checkout counter in most places I've been to. That's where this is located. If you're looking for a good and expensive brow pencil, I would definitely check these out. Um, then because my hair is so much darker right now, I did have to use my uh, Urban Decay Brow Box in Brown Sugar, and I had to run some of the darkest shade through my brows because with this alone it just looked a little bit too light. Uh, then I set everything with the Salon Perfect Brow Sculpting Gel. This I found at Walmart. So to start off the eyes, I did go ahead and prime them with my Urban Decay Primer Potion because this is really the only eye primer that I own besides like MAC Paint Pots or some of the Maybelline Color Tattoos 
This is definitely the best eye primer I think I have ever used. But anyway, to start things off, I'm going to go into this Revlon Photo Ready palette. This is 515 Renaissance. And I'm going to take this lightest shade down here, just on my finger, and apply that all over the lid, just as a base kind of wash of color. Then for around my inner corner and my brow bone highlight, I'm going to go into the CoverGirl Coffee Shop Quad. Yeah, this is what this is called. And I'm going to take this matte cream shade here. Well, this isn't really matte. It's kind of like a satin finish, I would say. And I'm going to place that around my tear duct. Just that whole area to really brighten up that area of the eye. Then I'm going to take and place that under my brow bone. Then to start defining my crease, I'm going to go into this loose pigment from Jessie's Girl. This is in the shade Brown Sugar. These are available at Rite Aid. That's the only place I've really been able to find them. Then I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush and then swirl it around in the lid just to take off any excess. And then I'm going to start working that color into my crease. And then kind of swirling it down around on the outer corner a little bit as well. Just to define that area a little bit too. Then to deepen up the crease a little bit more, I'm going to take this little bit more denser fluffy brush and then going back into my coffee shop quad, I'm going to use this coppery color here. I don't think I've actually ever used this color. <laughs> And that's just going to go kind of in the outer corner, but blending it inward as well. Then on my Real Techniques base shadow brush, if I can find it. Doo, doo, doo. Is this it? No. Where, oh where, have you gone base shadow brush? Then sticking in the coffee shop quad, I'm going to take this dark brown and on that base shadow brush, just work that in the outer corner area and kind of down around onto the lid a bit. Then because I feel like I have lost some of the lid color, I'm going to go back into this Revlon Photo Ready palette thingy and just get a little bit more of that first shadow that we used and just pack that back on to the lid. And then go back in with the fluffy brush and just blend out that edge again. Just like that. Then for the lower lash line, I'm going to go back into that Jessie's Girl pigment and use my base shadow brush. You can use a smaller brush for this step but I just wanted this color to show under what else I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this and run this along my lower lash line. And using this brush is going to cause this color to come down quite far. That's why I said use a smaller brush to do some, this step if you want to. So I did apply some winged liner off of camera. I haven't done it in such a long time that I needed to do it off of camera, which is sad. Um, anyway, I'm going to go in with this copper color again and darken the outer corner a little bit, I've decided. Just a little bit. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques accent brush and I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus. You can use the e.l.f. mist and set or you could just use water for this. But I'm just going to give that a thorough soaking. And I'm going to go in with the Jessie Girl pigment. This is more of a glitter actually. This is called Penny Arcade. And this is just beautiful. And I'm going to apply that pretty much complete along the lower lash line. Just like that, and it just adds a little bit of a glittery effect. Nothing crazy. 
So I did go ahead and put like a gold and brown eyeliner on the waterline, but I don't have any that are drugstore, so I didn't include it. You can do that or not. It's optional. We'll leave it at that. Um, but for mascara, I did use the Voluminous Miss Mangle Lash with some of the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. These are great drugstore mascaras. I recommend them highly. Uh, for lips, I think you could really go any way you wanted to with this. Something bright, something simple, something nude. But what is easiest here for me is I'm going to do this because I love NYX, number one, and this is a great color. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Istanbul. And first I'm going to wipe off my lip balm on this towel that I have sitting next to me. These set and they stay quite a long time. They do set matte, but they're not super drying either. That's why I like them so much. So, but then that just gives you a nice, soft, nude, pinky lip. You could do red if this was for, like, a holiday party or something, because we are getting close to that. Um, anyway, that completes my drugstore makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.